Fletcher is becoming a legend online. He operates a YouTube channel where he interviews protesters to find out how much they really know about the things they're protesting. You can imagine the results. Here's an example. Racism, constantly. Where are you seeing racism? On television. <laughs> Anywhere, really. Like, what has he done that's racist, I'm saying? I don't know. Do you think Trump is racist? Well, I know that. Against who? Says, uh, let's make America white again. But what about in the 90s when Jesse Jackson gave him an award for being a champion to the black community? Hey. Yep. His campaign was modeled based on Hitler's. Sure, he's not as bad as Hitler currently, but if he gets his way, eventually he will be. You think he's going to kill six million Jews? Steve Bannon would love that. I don't think it will happen, no, but they would love for that to happen. Illegal immigrants. Everyone is a part. There's no illegal people. Who'd you vote for? Oh, oh what about building the wall? <laughs> we won't even talk about that. He's guilty. Of what? Treason. Where'd you see that? Why? Where is he? Yeah, where did he do treason? Oh, you know the answer to that. No, I don't, because it's not true. Austin Fletcher joins us tonight. So you're making friends out there in protest land. Um, has anyone ever gone after you? I mean, do they understand what the game is when you go and interview them? Uh, they actually don't. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the weird outfits I wear. Uh, I carry a spoon attached to a microphone, so they kind of discredit me. And I also have, like, you know, my beard, and I kind of look like a hipster. So they think I'm on their side when I approach them. I just ask them some basic questions. I say, what are you doing here? Who did you vote for? What does your sign say? And I kind of let them speak for themselves. And the things they're saying are pretty ridiculous. Like, I'm a free market person, Tucker, so I want to hear people's beliefs. I want to hear their thoughts all the way through. And when yeah. I do, then it's kind of for everyone else to decide whether or not they make sense or deserve credibility. So uh, I, I, I know that well. So be honest. Of the people you interview, what percentage have a kind of thoughtful explanation for why they're there and what they believe? Um, I would say five to ten percent legitimately. Oh, well, it's that low. Yeah, it's it, it's not good. Um, they really don't understand. They're they're fighting an emotional war. They're acting based on yeah. feelings. Um, they come out to these events and they think they're doing you know a just they're uh, participating in a just cause when realistically they're acting on misinformation and you're really becoming victims to the mainstream media's liberal narrative that's completely dividing this country. So really quick, have you noticed that the less they know, the more angry they are? I'm sorry? Have you noticed that the less they know, the angrier they are? Oh, absolutely. And there's this thing going on right now where the more outraged you are, the more justified you must be. And right. the liberal media is falling right into that trap. And the people are out there. I know there was a woman the other day who was out on Hollywood Boulevard on a megaphone screaming, Donald Trump is worse than Hitler. And I was standing next to a guy whose family died in the Holocaust, and he was yeah. really offended by that. But, yeah. you know, well, they get credibility. She must be a very good person to be that angry. Yeah, it makes me never want to be angry again. <laughs> Austin, thank you for coming on. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, Tucker.